And this is my standing position, alternating opposite hand toe. Trying to keep that leg nice and straight, maybe tapping your toes, touch out the back side of your leg. Let's do one more on each side. And then from a standing position, open hip lift over to a side lunge. Two steps stays lifted. And then staying low in your squat. Take away point out, arms reach out by your side, reaching down, tap in the opposite inside angle. Chin and chest stays lifted. One more each side. And then staying upright, arms forward in a windmill motion. And then reverse the direction. Chin chest is lifted. So we hinge forward the waist. Open, close the arms, give yourself a nice big hug, and then squeeze your shoulder blades together as you open the arms. And then coming down to a rise on left leg forward, pressing into that left knee, opening up your right hip, and then straighten the left leg, maybe point and flex the toes. And switching sides, pressing into the right knee, opening up your left hip. And then straighten your right leg, maybe point and flex the toes. Coming on up to a standing position, maybe rolling your shoulders, grabbing a sip of water before we get started here. We have four moves in each set. Each move is 30 seconds long. Take that off. First up, we have no equipment needed. We have a jack to a squat jack. Maybe tapping the floor, maybe alternating the hand, maybe both hands tap down. You can also move from a side step, just alternating which leg steps out. So you're adding that hop. Step your head. Seven seconds to go. Keep it going. And go ahead and grab your heavier set of weight. And then it's a little bit close to here so I can see it. All right, here we have a little bit of a combo here. Bring your feet hip width apart and parallel. We have a deadlift. And then bringing the weights on your hands to a squat, to a curtsy, just with the right leg. That's the deadlift. So deadlift, to a squat, to a curtsy lunge. Chin and chest stays lifted. Really think about keeping that micro bend in your knees with the deadlift. Feet are grounded into the floor. And then take it where you're at, setting the weight down. From here, we have three high knees to a stick. Really drawing that opposite knee, the opposite elbow, and then switching. Lateral hop, three high knees to a stick. Keep it going. Looking so good, Heshwar. Still going. Still moving. Last 10, we're gonna grab those weights again for our deadlift and our curtsy with the left leg. Last five. And one, go ahead and grab your weight. This time, bringing your feet wide and your hips still parallel, toes pointed forward. Same thing, we have a deadlift. Do a squat, to the left curtsy. The so same thing, just moving on the left side and legs are wider. Deadlift, do a squat, to the left curtsy. Keep it going. Almost there. Last seven, then right back to the top. And three, two, and one. Go ahead and finish up where you're at. Set your waist down. Right back to the top. Jack to a squat jack. This is round two of three. Join me when you're ready. Then and chest stays lifted. Really finishing off this year so strong. Almost there. And then chest stays lifted. Almost there. Last three, two, 
and one. Go ahead and grab your weight, bring your feet hip width apart and parallel. We have our deadlift, three squat, and a right curtsy. Join me when you're ready. Weights are down in front of your shins for the deadlift, on your shoulders for the squat and the curtsy. Really glide that weight down the front of your shins. Keep it going. Chin and chest stays lifted and your squat and your deadlift. Last seven. Last two. And one. Try and set your weights down. We have three high knees to a stick. Drawing that elbow up, elbow down, knee up. Join me when you're ready. Keep it going. Very nice. Maybe drawing that knee a little bit higher. Maybe drawing your elbow a little bit closer. You can also do it from a standing position, just walking, holding that pin for a second, and then releasing. All right, go ahead and grab your weights again. Feet are wider than your hips. Toes facing forward. We have our deadlift to a squat to a left curtsy. Join me when you're ready. And chest stays lifted, and your squat and your curtsy. Same thing as on the right side, two with the left side, and with your legs wider than hip width. Keep it going. Neck in neutral spine with your deadlift. Really trying to stick your bum back behind you. Last three, two, and one. Finish up wherever you're at. Set your weights down. Third and final round. Jack to a squat jack. Join me when you're ready. Maybe adding that hop. Maybe taking out that hop and just stepping from side to side. Keep it going. Last 12, just like this. Third and final round. Make it your best yet. Maybe squatting lower for three. Last two and one. Go ahead and grab those heavier set of weights. See your hip width apart and parallel. Deadlift to a squat to a right for C. Join me when you're ready. And then chest stays lifted. Just the right leg curtsy. Very nice. <clears throat> Last 10. Moving here with your breath. Down lift to a curtsy. Adding that squat in between. Last two. And one. Set the weights down. We have our three lateral high knees to a stick, drawing the knee up, elbow down. Show me when you're ready. Keep it going. Last time doing this. We have one more move after this, then a breather. Still going, still moving. Last seven, three, two, and one. Try and take back up your weight. Feet are wider than your hips. Toes are facing forward. We have our wide deadlift. Do a squat to left curtsy. Last 30 seconds of work. Then we stretch for a little bit. Maybe grab a sip of water. Still going. Neck stays at neutral spine as you come down to your lowest deadlift. Last five, three, two, and one. Finish up wherever you're at. Set your weights down. Grab a sip of water. Still got 10 seconds, don't worry. Having that water. We have four brand new moves coming up.
All right. Go ahead and set your weight up by your front area under your hands if you were in a plank. First up we have is a burpee. We come into that high plank. We're gonna row, alternating arms, one arm each, back up, burpee. You can step or hop. If you're stepping, just make sure you're alternating which legs come forward and backwards. First. Keep it going. Hips stay parallel, facing down when you're in that high plank. Always option to just hold the high plank. Ooh, that went by so fast. All right, set the waist to the side. Come on to your back. <clears throat> elbows wide behind your head. We have three bicycles. Pull the elbow to the opposite leg, raise, lower. Three bicycles, hold the opposite leg, knee, leg raise and lower. So you're alternating every three times which opposite elbow and opposite knee are touching and then you're raising and lowering the opposite leg holding that oblique crunch out in the lower abs keep it going the last one all right go ahead and set everything down come on up to standing place one way to the inside of your left leg front leg extends long right hand grabs the weight we're gonna row and then switch. So weight stays to the inside of your bent knee. It's lateral lunge hop. And then that row with the alternating opposite arm. Keep it going. You're also welcome to step. Or if you'd like, you can add that hop. Add a little more cardio burst. Keep it going. All right, go ahead and set the weight down. Picking up both of your weights here. A little bit of challenge, a little bit of balance. We have alternating single leg deadlift to a same knee drive with an overhead press and then switching. Option to keep your back leg down as you come into the single leg deadlift or you can extend that leg back, draw the knee up, hold the knee up as you come to the overhead press. Keep it going. You can always tap the floor in between as well. Ooh, those 30 seconds go by so fast. Place the weights, place the weights under your hands for our burpee with a high plank row. Join me when you're ready, stepping or hopping. Keep it going. Always an option to just hold that high plank and lieu of the row. Keep it going. Last seven. Three, two, and one. Set the weights off to the side. Come on to your back. Turn yourself into our bicycle crunches. Elbows wide behind the head. Three bicycles. Hold it, leg raise and lower. Three crunches, hold it, leg raise and lower. Trying to get the opposite leg straighter, longer, maybe point the toes, drawing your elbow to your knee. Keep it going. Less than 10 seconds here. Almost there. Last two and one. Come on up to standing. Grab a single weight to the inside of your right foot. Left leg extends long. Row with the left and then switch. You can hop, you can step. <clears throat> Keep it going. You can draw your elbow close into your side. You can also draw your elbow wide. Maybe alternating narrow and wide. Last five. And one. Go ahead and grab both the weights. We have our alternating single leg deadlift to a knee drive with an overhead press. Sounds like a lot, but it's really not. You got this. Single leg deadlift, knee drive, overhead press. Really challenging your balance here. 
always an option to keep that back leg on the floor, or you can always extend that leg with the deadlift, knee drive, overhead press. Keep it going. Drawing that knee closer into your chest. Go ahead and set the weight down the front third and final round. Setting the weight under your hand for our burpee with the high plank throw. Stepping or hopping. Keep it going. If you're stepping, just making sure you're alternating which leg comes in and out first. Very nice. Still going. All right, finish up where you're at. Set the weights off to the side. Roll onto your back for our bicycle crunches. Three bicycles. As you hold that opposite elbow to me, extend that leg straight, raise, and lower. So your feet stay lifted off the ground the whole time. Challenge your core, elbow stay lifted. Maybe drawing your elbow down, your knee up. Maybe getting that leg straighter, longer as you raise and lower. Last five. Keep it going. Two and one. Coming on up to standing. Grab a single weight in either inside of your foot. Extend your opposite leg long. We have a single arm row to alternate lower one top. Keep it going. That row can be narrow, drawing that weight up towards your shoulder, or you can make it wide, drawing your elbow up and out. Whatever you prefer, stepping or hopping, moving with your best, doing what you can. Last five seconds, three, two, and one. Picking up that second weight. We have our alternating single leg deadlift to a knee drive, and then adding in overhead press. Nice breather coming up after this. Keep it going. Head and chest stays lifted. Very nice. Looking so strong, working so hard. Almost there. Last seven. Three, two, finish up wherever you're at. Setting the weights off to the side. And then grabbing a sip of water. Breather coming up. So we're gonna be laying on the floor. I lied. We're gonna be in bear crawl and then lay on the floor. So alternating between bear crawl, lay on the floor, and then a high plank. All right. So then come to your tabletop position. Wrist your inner shoulders, knees are under your hips, tuck your toes, lifting your knees up, coming to a hover. From here, we have alternating shoulder taps. Just drawing opposite arm up, tapping the opposite shoulder. Always an option to just keep your knees down at tabletop. Most important thing is that your core is engaged. So on your navel in towards your spine so your back is nice and flat. Not hammocking your belly or arching your back. Nice flat spine. Core is engaged. For three, two, and one. Now we get to lay down. Go ahead and come on over to your backside. Grabbing a weight in your right hand. <clears throat> Feet are close in toward your bones. Feet are hip width apart and parallel. Single weight in your right hand, left arm down by your side, lifting your hips up, coming to a glute bridge, and then extend your left leg straight. So right arm with the weight, right leg flat on the floor. And we have a single arm chest press with the leg raised and lower, hips stay lifted. You are working total body here. You're working your, your chest, and adding triceps and chest together. You're working your triceps, your chest, your core, your abs and your glutes. Lower everything down, switch the weight into the left arm. 
Do your stretch hip with the part and parallel. Lift your hips up so you see your glute bridge. Extend your right leg long and then press your left arm up as you extend your leg up. Leg stays nice and straight. Just bending and pressing your left arm simultaneously as you raise and lower your right leg. Hips stay lifted nice and high, squeezing your glute, rounding your left sole of your foot into the floor. Maybe point your right toe. Four, five, three, two, and one. Set everything down. Set your weight off to the side. From here, come to a high plank position. We're gonna pike up to a down dog and then tap opposite hand the opposite ankle, maybe reaching for your toes, maybe your ankle, maybe your calf, maybe your knee, reaching for whatever you can. Coming back to your high point, and then piking your hips up, using your core to shift into your down dog. I'll tap opposite hands to opposite legs. Last two and one. Come on down to all fours. Back to our tabletop or bear crawl position. Option is tuck your toes, covering your shins, and then tapping opposite shoulder with opposite hands. Keep it going. Still going, still moving. Core is nice and engaged. Nice flat back. Most important thing is that your back is flat, whether you're kneeling down or hovering. Last 10 here. Gazing down between your thumb and index finger, alternating opposite shoulder taps. Quickly come on down, laying onto your back, grabbing one weight in your right hand, feet are close in towards your bottom hip with the part and parallel, raise your hips up, extend your left leg long, raise and lower your right arm, left leg. Four stays engaged, really squeezing your glutes. Rounding through the sole of your right foot. So right leg, left arm is grounded into the ground. Shoulders stay pressed into the mat. Just your hips are lifted. Right arm, left leg, raise and lower. For three, then we switch. Last two, and one. Release everything now, place the weight into your left hand. Lift your hips up. Extend your right leg long. And then raise and lower your left arm, right leg. Round the sole of your left foot and right hand into the mat. Hips are lifted, not letting them lower, even as time passes. Shoulders stay pressed into the ground. Gaze is up towards the ceiling. Palm are facing in towards your body. Left arm, right leg, raise and lower. Four is engaged for five. Last three, two, and one. Come on over. Starting one way under each hand. Now we have starting one way in your right hand. Come to your high plank. First, going to draw that weight through towards the opposite hand. Just a weight pass between your hands. Single weight, holding that high plank. Always awesome to just hold the high plank. Keep it going. Core is engaged. Passing that weight from left to right, right to left. Hips stay facing down, parallel to the floor. Imagine that your hips are headlights. Last one. And rest everything down. One more round. Come back to your tabletop. Tucking your toes. Alternating opposite shoulder tap. Core is engaged. Keep it going. Just shoulder taps here. Moving what you can. Holding that bear crawl, shin covering or feet are flat on the ground and your table tap core is engaged. Last one. Go ahead and grab a single weight in your right hand, rolling onto your back, feet or hip with the palm parallel, feet close into your bum, squeeze your feet to lift your hips up, extend your left leg long, left arm, right arm, left leg, right arm, raise and lower. Hips stay lift the whole time. So imagine that you're holding that glute bridge. Keep it going. Almost there. 
Right arm, palm faces in towards your body. Still going. Narrow arm press with a single leg straight roof ribs raise and lower. Last two and one. Push the weight through your left hand, feet stay hip width apart and try to lift your hips up coming to your glute bridge. Right palm down, extend your right leg long. Raise and lower the right leg, left arm. Core is engaged. Keeping it going. Doing what you can. Still going. Almost there. Raise and lower. Maybe lifting your hips an inch or two higher. Yes, you can. Keep it going. Maybe getting that right leg straighter. Maybe pointing the toes even higher. Last three, two, and one. Go ahead and flip it on over. Bring one weight to your right hand. Come to a high plank. We're going to combine the two. We're going to draw the weight from the right hand to the left. From the left hand to the right. Pike up, tap left hand to the inside right leg pike up right hand to the inside left leg and then repeating again so single arm weight pass one on each side and then piking the hips up tapping the opposite leg coming back down and repeating it on the other side keep it going last five breather coming up after this and then finish it wherever you're at resting your knees down touching your breath <clears throat> Go ahead and set the weights off the side. We will use them again. Just not, not yet. Grabbing a sip of water. Catching your breath. We're going to stay on the floor again for our next four minutes. <clears throat> All right, first step, we have no equipment is needed. We have four mountain climbers to four cross body climbers. So coming back to that high plank position. Nice high plank from here. Drawing same elbow, drawing same knee to same elbow four times, and then crossing opposite knee up to opposite elbow four times, and then back to straight. Keep it going. Four mountain climbers, four cross body climbers, Still going. This can also be done from a tabletop in lieu of a high plank. Still drawing your knees up to the same elbow. Last one. Go ahead and lay onto your left side, grabbing one weight, maybe a little bit lighter if you'd like, with your top right hand, propping your head up. Legs are glued together, feet are up. Extend your right arm up to the ceiling, and we have a Rise, step, bend, and press with a clam shell open and close. So feet stay lifted. A lot of moving parts here. Bending and extending the top elbow with your thumb in towards your body as you simultaneously raise and lower your top leg. All right, switching sides. Now laying on your right side, maybe propping your head up with your right hand like you're laying at the beach. Weight in your left hand up towards the ceiling, legs are zipped together, toes up towards the ceiling. And then bending and extending that top left arm as you simultaneously open and close your knees. Raise clamshell with a tricep extension. <clears throat> Keep it going. Last 10. Almost there. Last three, two, and one. Go ahead and set the weights down. Go ahead and come to a low plank onto your forearm. Forearms are shoulder width apart. From here, extend the right arm in front, bring it back down. Extend the left arm in front, bring it back down. Extend your right leg, tap back down. Extend your left leg, tap back down. So we're extending the arm out in front, alternating one each and extend the leg back behind you, one each. Staying low in that plank, last 10. Alternating forward arm extension, and then leg lift for three, two, and one. Go ahead and draw your knees in. Right back to the top, mountain climbers. 
either from a high plank or a tabletop position, wrists are under your shoulders, drawing four knees into the same elbow, and then four knees to opposite elbow. Four is nice and engaged. Whether you are doing this from a tabletop position or from a high plank, doing what you can today, Gaze is down between your thumb and index finger. Keep it going. Last five, three, two, and one. Go and come laying onto your left side body, grabbing your weight in your top right hand, popping your head up like you're laying at the beach, zipping your legs together, right arm up to the ceiling, feet are lifted, clamshell raise and lower as you simultaneously bend and extend your top arm. This is round two of three, finishing so strong. Keep it going, core is engaged, keeping your top right hip directly over your bottom left, just opening and closing. And one, go ahead and switch on over to the right side, popping your head up with your right hand, bending your knees up towards your chest towards your zip. Heels are lifted, let them up to the ceiling with the weight. Bend and extend that top left arm as you simultaneously open and close the top left leg. Feet stay lifted, top left hip stacks directly over the bottom right, really working that outer glute and outer hip on your top left leg, simultaneously working the inner and outer thighs. Working the triceps, core is engaged. Last two and one. Resting those weights down. Coming on over to the front side of your body for our low plank. We have alternating single arm, extend, pull it in, extend, pull it in. Leg lift and lower, leg lift and lower. Keeping that going. Arm extend, pull it in, leg lift and lower, keeping it going. Working so hard, last bit of 2022. Keep it going. Hips stay facing down. You can also always hold that plank. Whew. All your knees into your chest, touch your breath for a second. Third and final round, give it all you got. Tabletop position, wrists are under your shoulders, knees are under your hips. Option here, you can tuck your toes or keep it in the tabletop coming to the bear crawl. And then we have our down the knees in for a mountain climber and then opposite knee. So you can do it from a tabletop, you can do it from a bear crawl, you can do it from a high plank. Any of those options work. Keep it going. And then coming on down to your right side. Coming into your left side, grabbing the weight in your right hand, dipping your legs together, right arm up to the ceiling, and then bend and extend that top arm as you simultaneously open and close your top leg. Doing what you can today. Thumb comes in towards your chest as you bend the arm, and then pinky up towards the ceiling as you extend your arm opening, closing your top leg. Last three, then we switch sides. And then quickly switch inside. Weight in your top hand, legs are zipped, heels are lifted, arm up towards the ceiling. Bend and extend the arm as you simultaneously open and close the top leg. Hip face back over the other. Keep it going. Core is engaged. Almost there. <clears throat> Still going. Still moving. Last five. You got this. So close. Last two and one. Time to set the weight down. Come to your low plank position. Last 30 seconds of work. Give it all you got. Maybe pulling that plank. Option to extend the left, pull it in, extend the right, pull it in, lift the left, lower, lift the right, lower. Holding that plank or adding in the arm extension and then leg lift. 
keep it going. You got this. Last 10 seconds. Still going. Almost there. Go ahead and draw the knees in. <clears throat> Maybe touch your breath. From here, go ahead and lay onto your back. Draw your knees in towards your chest. Grab it underneath your knees. Bend your shins, you wiggling your toes. And then clasping both your hands under your right knee on your right shin. Extend your left leg long, flexing your left toes up towards the ceiling. Maybe circling your right toes. Maybe point and flex. Hold on in here, core is engaged. Lower back, press into the mat, and then switch inside. Draw your left knee into your chest, clasping under your left knee on your left shin. Really extend long, flexing your right toes. Maybe wiggling your left toes. Maybe point flex, drawing them in a circle. Core is engaged. Lower back, press into the mat. And then drawing both knees back into your chest. Grab a hold of your pinky, maybe your big toes, maybe underneath of your thighs, or baby position, and maybe rolling side to side. A happy baby. Nice lower back release here. And then drawing your knees together and rolling yourself along your spine, forward and backwards, maybe to the seated position and then back down again. You're going to a nice lower back release. And when you're ready, coming up to the seated position. Extending your right leg long, left sole of your foot comes to the inside of your right leg. Bring your right arm to the inside of your right leg. Left arm reaches up overhead, chin chest is lifted. First side body stretch. And then left arm down, nose to knee, heart to thigh. <laughs> Gently rolling up slowly on your next exhale. Extend your left leg long, drawing the sole of your right foot into your left thigh. Bring your left arm to the inside of your left leg. Right arm reaches up overhead. Chin and chest stays lifted. First stretch all along the right side body. And then drawing your right arm down. Nose to knee, heart to thigh. Gently rolling up slowly on your next exhale. Drawing the soles of your feet together. Knees are nice and wide. You can flap your knees like a little butterfly. You can draw your feet as close to your body as you like. You can also extend them further out, making a diamond shape with your legs, and then drawing your hands under your calf, and then placing your palms over the top of your feet so you're drawing your upper body closer in towards your feet for a nice stretch all along your back and your hips. Wherever you're at, the point there for your breath. And gently rolling up on your next exhale. Coming on up to a standing position as slow as you need to. And then drawing your right arm across your body, crossing into your forearm, avoiding your wrist or your elbow. And then switching. And then open right hand behind the head. And then switching. And then nice big deep breath. Do one more for good luck. Ending 22. Nice and slim. Very nice. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. I love Thank it. Thank you. You're very welcome. And I'm happy, happy to be back. Oh, sorry, I was trying to pause it. Happy to be back. I've missed you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, you. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Have a lovely new year and I'll see you next year. That sounds so weird to say, but I'll see you next year. <laughs> yes. Have a good one. Thank you. Thank you, Tessar. Thank you.